All right, going to test a few coins and other objects with the Land Rover Pro metal detector. We'll start out with a modern copper clad quarter. That's about four or five inches. Six inches. Six, six or seven inches. That's the maximum distance with a modern quarter. Here's a 1976 Eisenhower dollar. That's about seven, eight inches. Here's a Kennedy half dollar. That's five, six, seven, about seven inches. Here's a silver dime. That's about four or five inches. I'll try another silver dime. Oh, same thing, four or five inches. Here's an old buffalo nickel. That's about six. That's buffalo nickel at about six inches. Here's an old um, 56 Australian penny. It's a big giant penny. Big copper penny. That's about six, seven inches. Six or seven inches for the penny. Here's a Canadian dollar. It's a mixed mixed coin. I don't know if you can see that. It's a mixed coin. Canadian dollar. That's about seven inches. Here's a 1783 silver eight cobs, eight real, I mean. Eight reals. That's about six, seven inches. Here's a Here's a wheat copper penny. That's six or seven inches. Here's a 1922, I think it's an S, fake silver dollar. That's about seven, seven inches. But it's a fake 1922 piece dollar. You can buy these for next to nothing on the internet. Okay, let's try a aluminum coin. I don't know, I, I think these are from Morocco. I was in Morocco once. This one says five, I can't read it, bad eyes. Here's a little bit smaller, this is two.
That's also aluminum. Here's a little bit smaller. This is a one. They're all around four or five inches. I'm going to go to a Chinese tin yin. So here's a Hong Kong something. It's real tiny. Boy. It's about the size of a dime. It's not really. Oh, there we go. About six or eight inches. It beeps a little bit. Here's a brown um brass maybe. Tin francs from Morocco. That's about six inches. There's another old coin. I think I picked it up in Morocco. I don't know what that's made. It's probably some kind of a brass or bronze combination. And I got a dime shaped aluminum. That's about five or five inches. Okay, let's get to some of the junkier stuff. Here's a AMA collect collector series P51 Mustang medallion. It's about the size of a silver dollar. I think it's made out of brass or bronze. Then here's some junk jewelry. I found this when I was in San Francisco by an old church. Boy, it doesn't even... It's got a fake diamond and I guess there's some... I don't know what it's made out of lead. <laughs> Where are we? Here's another one. I found all this cheap junk jewelry at an old churchyard in San Francisco back in the 90s. So we're going to tear down the church, so I was playing around and found a bunch of cheap junk jewelry. This is a tie clip. So far all of these, i got to stay within about three inches of the thing. Here's some two miniature skeleton keys, like for a little cabin or something, on a steel ring. That's about four or five inches. Here's a, a car wash token. Looks like it's brass or bronze, maybe brass, it's a little yellower. So like a car token. Here's a 1776 commemorative coin of some sort. It's also, um, it looks like it could be pewter maybe. I don't know. Here's a money, it's a money clip. Probably just um, painted aluminum. It's almost the size. It's about the size of a silver dollar. Here's a, a 
I think it's a gambling chip. No, it's a well, some kind of chip. Looks like it's made out of aluminum, maybe. maybe about six, seven inches. Six, seven inches. So that's a whole bunch of that stuff. It's fun. It makes noise. Here's a nickel-sized um, piece of junk. Um, another um, little token of some sort. It's about five or six inches. All these, all these little tokens and things. Here's a earring I found. That's about three or four inches to get a beep out of it. And yeah, more junk jewelry. Here's a a gold tooth crown. It's probably. 14 carat or 10 carat gold, I don't know. Can't be too much gold, that's like 3 inches. Ah, uh, 4 inches. 4 or 5 inches. An old gold crown, but it's probably only about 10 carat gold. Tests. Gold tooth filling test. That's the left filling. That's the right fill. Go back to the left. Back to the right. Alright. Gold tooth filling tests.